Hi everyone, Pastor Rod Plummer here in Tokyo. We're doing a series on Ephesians about being sons and daughters of God by grace, by faith. God looked for us, he searched for us and found us and we became part of his family. Now, in chapter 2, it's talking about how we've been saved by grace to do amazing things. And then Paul just reverts back to talking about seven areas we were separated from God, like totally separated from God. And then there was an intervention. I love this because it's all about Jesus' love for us and he searched for us and wanted us and and drew us and we, we became believers through faith. And so let me read to you the scripture here. It's... um. Chapter 2, verse 11 and 12, seven areas where we're separated. I think it's seven areas. It's like a lot. It says, remember that formerly you and me, we were Gentiles in the flesh, the ones being called the uncircumcision by that being called the circumcision made by hands in the flesh, that at that time you were separated from Christ, alienated from the commonwealth of Israel, strangers to the covenant of the promise, not having hope, and without God in the world. Like that's really seven areas of separation. In, in fact, um, I was just thinking about it. Like we were in a perpetual state of being away from God, like a, a continually. And that doesn't mean we're outside his, the scope of his love or his, his protection or his hand or his drawing, but we were truly separated. And then all of a sudden, Jesus came. And verse 13 is, is such a wonderful uh, intervention in this separation. It says, but now... In Christ Jesus, you, the ones being far off, have become near by the blood of Christ. So verse 13 is saying, yeah, yeah, all that separation. But in one moment, when you when you love the Lord, he came into your life, you become sons of God, daughters of God, all that separation ceased. All that enmity or animosity or upset or disagreement with God just disappeared. It left our lives. But now in Christ once away, now near. Now, I love this word near. And the, the closer we get to God, the closer we get to his, his qualities, his love, his joy, his peace. His, uh, it's amazing. The closer we, we get to a wonderful Jesus, the separation is further and further. It's like we're driving in the, the rear vision mirror and our past life gets, 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 gets further and further and further into the past until we can remember it, but it's sort of diminished and small and that's what it's like with me i think back my past life before i was a believer it wasn't it wasn't nice i can remember but it's not who i am i am now with jesus i am now uh with him i am now near through the blood of jesus christ on the cross and through the resurrection and so are you and we need to know that this condemnation needs to throw throw off. We need to throw it off and say, I am now near. I am now close. I am now with God. He is with me, in me, for me, and helping me into the future. That this is an incredible verse. Seven areas of separation, and all of a sudden, boom, we are made close. We're called sons and daughters. I don't think it can get any closer I just love my my boys, and I know all parents here love their boys and girls, and that's how God sees us. We are now close, not separated. So if you're feeling separated, it's not God that's moved. Come on, let's get back to that closeness. Let's get back to that grace, being sons and daughters close to God perpetually. Thank you, Jesus. You came to make us close, and I pray we would feel the closeness today. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for joining us today. And if you enjoyed today's episode with Pastor Rod, why don't you subscribe on whatever platform you are listening to this and we'll see you next time.